I've got the markets pulled up. So if we have a look at the markets now, specifically, I want to talk a little bit about the market valuations as well as the market today, the market cap. Okay, switching over to coin market cap. Anyway, let's move on to the markets. Uh, but so looking at the market today, we have slightly upwards. It's slightly healthier. The entire crypto asset market is slightly healthier. Take a look at what's happening on the crypto markets around coin market cap. We see basically all positive. So if you guys, you're tired of seeing the same damn thing over and over, welcome to the Chico Crypto Channel, where I don't just sit in front of my computer screen and read headlines, but I actually research and bring you some of the best tech breakdowns and crypto news and rumors in the industry. This background must mean it's time for crypto and a cold one. Today's featured brewski is something fucking weird. St. Peter's Sorghum Beer, a gluten-free beer brewed from sorghum out of St. Peter's Brewing from the UK. Let's get into this and I'll tell you how it tastes. I'm not expecting good. Oh man, I don't know about this, guys. Whew, I've never had sorghum beer. That's fucking so gross. Oh my God. Ah. Oh. It's awful. It's awful. What the fuck are you UK Brits thinking? Ugh. All right, let's get this done. Hopefully I make it. Oh, that was close actually. So today I would like to bring you some juicy content. My top three to four coins that are currently sitting outside of the top hundred on coin market cap. With a Bitcoin ETF in the midst and a Bitcoin bull run most likely right around the corner, we should be looking for these coins right now. Of course, we need to keep in mind that the ETF could blow up right in our faces, and this bear winter could extend for much longer than even I anticipated. But still, by identifying the good projects early on, our position will be much better than those only looking within the top 100. A coin I was a little uneasy with holding in the beginning, but have since become comfortable with, is my number one, GenCoin. GenCoin is the turnkey masternode coin. So they are trying to provide a service for crypto investors by allowing them to deploy their own master nodes regardless of their technical abilities. Now this all begins with their own blockchain and master nodes, the Gen blockchain and the Gen master nodes. Now Gen is very similar to Dash in that it is a two-tiered network with miners handling the creation of new blocks and bonus features such as governance and other things handled by the second tier of master nodes. So these bonus features include private send and instant send of Gen coins, just like Dash. The big reason I like Gen is because of the ecosystem they are building. A great feature of their project is they allow you to create a cold wallet masternode for other masternode coins without having to deal with all the technical servers, terminals, or even Linux. It's a codeless masternode deployment platform that is web-based and relies on open source tech like Docker, Node.js, Angular.js, and Linux. And it works by automatically creating and configuring the masternode server for you in the background. So there is no lack of hosted masternodes on Gen either. Scrolling through, we can see SmartCash with 131 hosted masternodes, Bulwark has 58 hosted masternodes, Syscoin has 33, and the list goes on. Zcoin, PIVX, Dash, and even BlockNet. They even have tier two masternodes who aren't as popular. ALQO Exchange, Apollon, even LightPay coin, whatever that is. A thousand gen are required for a masternode, which means a masternode will cost you just over $4,100 at today's prices. And the annual ROI of the gen masternode is just over 125%. So currently you get over $13 a day, 96 bucks a week, $414 a month, or just over 5,000 per year. Here are the stats that make me really bullish on GenCoin. The current supply of GenCoin is just over 2.754 million Gen. 75% of the coins are locked up in masternodes, which means you don't have that many coins being dumped. On the entire Gen platform, you have 4,135 hosted masternodes with an accumulated value of $10.7 million. Taking a look at the total market cap of Gin, it's holding just over 11 million. Does the market cap reflect its true value? Yes, 
which is why it's undervalued in this insane market. 95% of the project's market caps are overinflated for what they are producing. Nothing. Another thing I want to highlight is something big on the roadmap coming very soon. The shared masternode platform for big masternodes like Dash, Blocknet, and Syscoin. This is huge and will bring a flurry of new blood to the platform. Now, a masternode coin who just got listed on Gen, I want to look at very quick. Gentarium is a similar concept as Gen, but they are adding the ability to manage ASICs and GPU rigs. It was just listed on Crypto Bridge Exchange, has been moving up consistently for the past week. But yesterday it took a nice dump. So this coin is on my radar, but I still need to do a little bit more digging and get more information before pulling that trigger. The next coin is one I love because their technology is downright revolutionary. I spoke about their ICO a long time ago, almost a year ago today. That coin is Enigma, formerly known as Enigma Catalyst. The coin was recently in the top 100, but has fell out of the top and is currently at number 113. A perfect time to get a position because this coin is not going anywhere. Enigma is a second layer off-chain network meant to be a complement to blockchain networks by providing secondary layer data storage and computation. The protocol is offering scaling solutions as well as privacy solutions. The bread and butter of Enigma, secret contracts, which are smart contracts that allow developers to build end-to-end dApps that focus on confidentiality. I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of their tech because that would take forever, but two months back in late June, Enigma announced they are partnering with Intel and building on their software guard extensions, SGX. Now last week on August 14th, it was announced that SGX had a foreshadow vulnerability, allowing attackers to steal the information it stores. This could be cause for concern, but it was overblown. Like any software or hardware, the discovery and resolution of potential bugs and vulnerabilities is normal, and it is an expected part of the development process. And actually, this is why we should be paying attention. We know Enigma is working with Intel. What if Enigma is the ones who make the SGX fully secure with their tech? Do you know the ramifications it would have throughout the computer and data world? Enigma's blockchain would be used every freaking where. Even more good news for Enigma. They have their testnet functioning on Ethereum right now, and the mainnet for Ethereum will be launched very soon. The mainnet is scheduled for quarter three and has been said to be ready by the end of September. They aren't stopping with Ethereum either. They are going to be the privacy and scaling solution for all blockchains. The team is quoted as saying they are in conversations with other blockchain projects to build. I know NEO is one of them, as they have connections presenting at NEO DevCon. My last pick out of the top 100 is because of the use cases and the traction they are getting. The project is putting crypto assets in the hands of the masses. What medium are they doing this through? Games. And if you don't know the project I am talking about, it is Engine. So crypto collectibles and digital assets are the way to adoption and the best way is through games. Engine has real adoption with games like War of Crypto, Nine Lives Arena, Age of Rust, and Crypto Fights having adjusted to their ERC-1155 standard for digital assets and other projects are using some of their community building in ERC-721 standards, such as Minecraft servers. The entire ecosystem of Engine is nearing completion, and it includes both ERC-721 and ERC-1155, the Engine Wallet and in-wallet token exchange, Engine X Universal Blockchain Explorer, Blockchain SDKs for Unity 3D, Java SDK, Minecraft Plugin, Developer Portal, and Web SDK. But the main focus for the team right now is a gaming scaling solution called Efinity, which will allow true decentralized gaming for the masses. Well, viewers, thanks for taking the time to check out my three to four picks out of the top hundred. Do you have any other ones you think I should be looking at? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I won't be taking another drink of this, but I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.